Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 2nd to the 8th of May 2022. Um, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, and our advice uh, and a potential outcome. And at the end we'll uh, have an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive into whatever this is a little bit deeper with a nine card spread as well as some oracles. So. You can watch this for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you are familiar with your chart, do check out where your Sun, and in particular your Sun and Venus, uh, where they're transiting, uh, and which house that corresponds to. Um, I have done a video uh, a couple of days ago explaining what I mean, hopefully uh, a little bit better than I'm doing right now. Um, and I, I show you how I would choose based on my chart and what I would watch based on the houses. It just gives an alternative view than just the typical follow the zodiacs whereas you know the energies for me is more focused in the houses okay so check that out if you wish uh, thank you for the like share subscribe comment it all it's the easiest way to support the channel it's much appreciated uh, cross watchers you are welcome and my website should be up and running by the end of this week so fingers crossed and uh, that means the private reads will be open again okay so no particular music um, that was or songs that was jumping in in your pre-shuffle however wheel at the bottom of the deck with the uh, ten of cups happiness awaits for you ten ten um, it's Libra season anyway um, but strangely enough I, I usually do my shuffle into one particular uh, piece of music um, um, it's Chevalier de Son Real um, from the Da Vinci Code music and I must have been just away with it just in a whole completely different world as I continue shuffling and then straight after that funnily enough and why it's come up I have no idea on my YouTube um, um, suggestions but it was canon in D the wedding music so I feel like some of you have uh, either going to be attending a wedding or someone's getting married proposed to possibly um, so congratulations if I've uh, ruined it I apologise uh, ruined the surprise so yeah I kind of feel like some some of you are getting married, so I'm really pleased for you. Okay, let's get to it. So, two more for Libra. I nearly said Virgo, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, rising above the ego. Kind of, it's, it's a protection bubble as well uh, and it was interesting I was reading about um, different forms of shielding and it could be a good visualisation for you because we all have to shield um, especially if, if you deal with people the energy in particular if you are an empath it's, it's just a, a natural absorption um, and a lot of the times I kind of feel like your emotions are not your own you're actually taking on others um, so it's a very good visualisation to, to visualize a, a sphere around you and almost feel like a bouncing ball so things bounce off it uh, so for some of you out there that's looking to um, strengthening your shields and your aura that is one way to do it something we're aware of something we're not aware of you could very well be dealing with a Virgo similar cards this morning recent past Your advice, potential outcome. The Page of Wands, the King of Swords, the Fool, and the Knight of Wands. The Five of Wands, Five of Cups, and Judgment. Okay, Judgment is next to the Eight of Swords as well, so if you do have any. Leo placements, or if your son's currently in the fifth house, check out Leo's reading because there's something about judgment and again reflected back to him. There's a bit of shadow work to go on for them this week. Um, nothing to worry about, just we all have judgmental moments. Um, the beauty of it is, the more that you become aware of them, the faster you see it. And I, you know, I do it all the time. I think, well, I was just a bit judgmental there. But it's getting quicker and quicker. You know, you, you, you notice when you're doing these things, and that's kind of what I see here. So you may be showing a little bit of a mirror um, uh, 
to something that you've done to somebody else uh, and it is, it's just a shadow aspect and you know, something that you need to integrate okay I'm getting two things here I'm getting those on a kind of a spiritual path an awakening of some kind and I'm also getting someone that especially if it's something to do with like I heard the wedding bells someone's scared or doesn't want to commit um, so yeah we'll get to it so we've got the seven of wands this is being in your own little bubble here um, rising above the ego for those that are uh, going through a spiritual journey what we're aware of is the eight of cups so you've you've walked away from something or you've released something of letting go of maybe letting go of the outcome which is very difficult to do but it's essential um, because holding on to an outcome um, is very limiting in the sense that no matter what you may perceive as happening everybody's got free will and the second that free will is uh, invoked energy changes so the, the, and there's only one constant in this world and that's change so the, I kind of feel like you're releasing the outcome now which is brilliant what we're not aware of is the two of swords so the two of swords and the eight of cups were both in the um, Virgo reading which is why it says it's there and I kind of feel like it's been possible blind to something here something's telling you something's off I've got the five of swords in the, in the recent past something's off you feel headache lethargy it could be as well ascension symptoms because best to describe this when our DNA is changing in regards to letting in more light if you want to call it that way um, the more that we go into meditation the more that we um, see the good in things see the better in things help people the more the energetic body shifts this could be um, uh, this could be like a um, going cold turkey with something you know because sometimes your body just rejects things especially when you start vibrating at a certain uh, pace your body just starts rejecting things um, this could be walking away from um, alcohol to a certain degree I'm just looking basing it on cups it doesn't have to be um, but it could be the side effects of you know leaving something that was um, like caffeine you know when you um, so I love my coffee in the morning. Uh, I do drink more decaf now, which is good. But I remember when first like reducing it was phew, headaches, terrible. So it, it's that type of energy that I'm getting here. Um, but something's bothering you, and you can't quite put your finger on it. Um, you're very much all over this reading, Libra, because your advice is justice, Libra. I kind of feel like you're saying you've got to trust what you're feeling. Trust your instincts about things. Um, and I think because you're a natural air sign, you may overthink things or um, try and use logic more than trust or kind of that inner, inner knowing. You know, because the, the two of swords is also kind of the high priestess. Um, you know saying you can't see everything just yet so just just hold tight maybe there's a frustration here of not being able to see anything um, but the, the 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 advice is bring balance to a situation there's a need to get out into nature more because your outcome is uh, the queen of pentacles which is a wonderful outcome it's abundance it's a it's a beautiful home if uh, those of you have moved home especially with the eight of cups um, I'm picturing a very very nice home here and um, very well decorated um, you've got a flair for it and I kind of feel like this page of wands is saying, don't forget about your flair. Whatever this is going on here, I kind of feel like you're stuck in a... <sighs> okay, I'm hearing a song now. Um, is it Ocean Colour Scene? Hey, 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 we don't want to fight no more. I kind of feel like something like that so it could be that you're just sick of the drama of, of everyday life and again this happens with ascension you kind of just like you look how daft things are 
how silly petty arguments are and you kind of really remove yourself from these situations and I kind of feel that's what's going on here um, you're obviously seeking a higher knowledge with the King of Swords here King of Swords in this deck I, I love the King of Swords in this deck it just and don't get caught up in genders I'm just reading the card but he oozes um, knowledge wisdom um, and I'm just that perspective of seeing things from a greater and a higher perspective um, it's wonderful so I kind of feel like you, you're protecting your energy here you're moving away from conflict and drama there's some indecision there's some worry about something that's niggling at you and the, the message is to trust your instincts here in fact we'll find the high priestess what does the high priestess want to tell you okay some of you watch out for something here um, together we've got the devil and the empress uh, and I literally as I was flipping through I heard devil woman um, so there could be somebody in your environment that you need to be wary of um, yeah because wedged between that we've got the queen of swords and the queen of cups it's like somebody that can appear all loving and supportive if he's actually you know queen of swords can as much as she's a uh, wonderful speaks her truth she can be very very uh, sort of nasty with it can be okay so the high priestess is wedged between the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles okay I'm getting years here as in personal years trust your intuition about something especially if you're in um, a six personal year or a nine per personal year something's not adding up for you in in, in a situation uh, you, you can easily work it out by just adding your date of birth together then the um, and when I say date of birth don't include the year uh, the year is taken from the actual year so for example we're in 2022 my birthday is the 30th of the 12th so 3 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 is 6 altogether 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2022 which is another 6 takes us to 12 breaks down to 3 so I'm in a 3 personal year if you're in a 6 or a 9 when you work that out something's screaming at you in regards to um I mean in general just you know trust your intuition here uh, but in particular if you are then something is screaming at you that something's not quite right in a situation uh, it's something that's kind of plaguing you and you're feeling it in your in your um, in your gut I'm just looking at the light in the center of her uh, solar plexus there trust it it's, it's there for a reason you know we, we are we are all psychics it's just quite in quieting the mind to be able to hear the calls and the uh, um, you can be seeing crows a lot. I'm just, I'm just looking at some of a lot of crows. The crows do tend to be protection, so don't worry if you see a lot of crows and you're panicking. Um, it can be somebody psycho, psych, psychically checking in on you. Um, but yeah, overall, Libra, trust your intuition, bolster those energy uh, shields, and. Um, yeah, especially if it comes to if someone's telling you not to sign something. Uh, justice can be contracts. Um, and, you know, and in two weeks as well is uh, Mercury retrograde. So just be even more uh, careful there. Because I kind of... Something's, something's niggling at you. And it's niggling at me now. Something's niggling at you. And you just need to trust your intuition. Okay. Alright. Who do we have? We have you, Libra. We have... Gemini Aquarius. We have Judgment as well, so Taurus. No, Taurus. Not Taurus, not Judgment. Uh, Scorpio, Libra again. Um, oh, we did get Taurus with that, uh, the Empress, didn't we? And the Devil Woman, so Capricorn, Taurus, Libra again. This is all about you, you're turning up in so many different areas. We've got Pentacles, we've got Swords, we've got Wands, we've got Cups. Everybody's here, but those are the standouts. So in the, um, in the extended, we're going to dive into what's niggling you. We're going to do past, present, future, what the situation is, your centre card is going to be the most important, it's going to be the, the 
almost like the crossroads of which way things are going here. Uh, we'll look at your mind, body, soul, and we'll pick a couple of um, oracle cards. Okay, if you enjoy me, fantastic. If not, Libra, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.